Okay, Wednesday today. Today's gonna be a bit of a nice day because I told myself that I could go into central London to go into a cafe and just work there instead of just like the usual Queen Mary. I woke up feeling a lot better today. I think that is partly due to the fact like I, I was able to get more sleep. Like the last few nights I told you like I haven't been able to get much sleep so that was a good thing. So I woke up a lot better. I was a lot calmer. I didn't have like a beating heart, like having a heart attack first thing in the morning, which was good. Um, so I'd done the like meditation thing this morning as well. Uh, no stretching though. And I had a breakfast. Um, one thing that the whole like meditation and thing kind of helped me with is that I always kind of knew that like, just like on a side point, like when I try to reduce social media, I think that a good advice that I heard and a good advice that I kind of like understood and resonated with me is that you don't quit social media by quitting social media you quit social media by having good mental health you quit social media by having good mental health that like your meant that your social media kind of like feeds on like your bad mental health and when i say bad mental health it doesn't have like it doesn't have to be so dire it just has to be like in the background but what one thing i found today is with the, this whole like mindfulness thing and this whole like overthinking thing is that watching my thoughts and things like that i've noticed like this morning for instance whenever like i got a bad thought or, like a it's like a thought that like wasn't positive and like uh it was kind of like scary or not not scary but like it's just like a bad memory so you start thinking about it and it kind of like it makes you go on your phone like I, I i i don't so let me explain so i'd be overthinking and then like it's not that like i have bad mental health because like it, it's good because like i'm going gym and i'm getting sunlight and like i'm doing all these things so like it's fine but then like because my, because i'm overthinking that then affects my mental health because it's weird because because you overthink you have a bad thought it's like you're it's like you're back in that bad memory it's like you're you're back in that bad place so to kind of like escape i think you kind of like go to your phone and you kind of like escape it through your phone but then the thing that i was able to do with this whole like mindfulness thing is instead of like this whole like mindfulness thing you have to be aware of the thought and then just let the thought pass um so it's like it comes into your mind but then you kind of like recalibrate your mind to kind of like not think that and to like focus it on one specific thing because i was a because i was practicing doing that these last few days when that kind of like impulse to go on my phone came i, I was able to kind of like redirect my mind and that proved as a really effective way of fighting the urges as a because it proved as a really effective way to fight the urges because I was not the urge, like the urge was separate from me. I was able to look outside the thought from like a different perspective and just let it pass rather than letting the urge kind of take me over and then like you're fighting yourself if that makes sense. You're like fighting yourself if that makes sense. So um, I thought that was a good thing. Anyway, I came into uni, I went to the gym at university. I done pull ups and shoulder presses today. I normally do a um, I was like a face pull, but I didn't have the energy to do that. So I didn't do that. Then after that, I went on the train. I went into central London. I have a zone one to four card. Um, I bought it because um, I know it's expensive and everything, but it's like summer. And I told myself like, uh, you know, when summer comes, I won't go Queen Mary. Like I'll change up because I'm going to be going Queen Mary, no doubt, like throughout the whole of third, third year. So I thought like, you know, now that it's summer and I don't have plans, I, I should go to central london which is what i did so anyway i went to god street um i didn't know where i was going but i kind of remember there's like a cafe neuro on the way to the waterstones that i like and i thought it'd be a nice because i didn't have any place specific in mind that place kind of like stood out to me so i just unintentionally made my way there um, it was a really nice it was really nice actually it was a lot nicer than i thought it would be like the ambience was really nice and it was just a nice cafe and they had like all these like books everywhere um so it was like going in like a half bookshop half cafe which was kind of cool i actually picked one up a few times i also asked them for a loyalty card because last time i was in cafe near i saw someone with a loyalty card and i thought that could be good for me because i'm like i'm really good with loyalty cards and like collecting points and because they're good right because like if you can get one for free you know why not so so i asked for one which was nice and um i tried to be like not so i basically because i told you like the overthinking is like the root problem but then like that stems into social anxiety so like when i was ordering like i ordered but then i was thinking like oh i'm not gonna ask him if if they have a loyalty card but then i was like no, i was trying to like fight it and then i asked him and then he was like yeah we do 
So he pulled out the loyalty card and he gave me two stamps instead of one, which was good. And then like on the way out, like before I went, I said like, thank you. It was a bit scary because like he, he was like, uh, it was like kind of like a 40 year old man, which is nothing wrong with that. But I mean, like, obviously he's not like someone my age, for instance. Um, so, and he looks kind of like, not scary, but obviously like he's, he's not like um, someone my age working there, for instance. So, but I done it anyway. I smiled at him and he smiled back and that was nice. Um, so yeah, I, I just sat there. I, I done one hour today, which was good. I worked on it. I really like this cafe. I think I'll definitely go back here. I f um, this is just as good as the one in London Bridge, although maybe I'm just saying that because I haven't been to this one and I've been to the London Bridge one many times. I wanted to get something to eat afterwards, but I thought mm, I got something to eat last time and I didn't plan to get something to eat. So I shouldn't just kind of like let my impulses and desires just kind of like control me. But I did walk around God Street and they do have some nice restaurants there. And I think it would be nice to go there, but it'd be nice to go there with a friend and not just by myself. So um, I, I think I said inside this video or in the last video that I should try and like uh, be more social and try and talk to more people. Not sorry, I should set set aside times for like going out with people and spending time with people as opposed to just like doing my routine and just uh, doing that. So I think I'll I'll send a text like to some of my friends and say, hey, there's this pizza place there was this nice pizza place that i saw and i said like hey you want to go get pizza sometimes i don't have that much money so i don't know where i'm gonna get the money from but hopefully i can get a job so you know after that i came back to queen mary um i was considering just going home because i am extremely hungry however i got to record these videos so you know so now i've recorded these videos i'm going to go home and get something to eat thank you